Hey everyone, my name's Braden. We're going to look at how to change the data type of a column in pandas. Specifically, we're going to see what happens when we have a column of strings that are actually numbers like this down here. And then when we have a mixture of integers and floats like this down here, as you can see, it gets read in as all floats. What happens when we have a mixture of strings and numbers in a column, how we can deal with missing values, and when we have characters in our strings like with money or percent signs. If you want to know how to convert to date time, I have another video on that. I'll add the link to the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, to get started, we'll import pandas as pd and numpy as np. To get started, I've created a data frame with several different types of columns. So let's run that. And we'll look at our data frame head. And we'll also look at the D types. So we see here that our first column is an object. And then our second column is a float. So if we have a mixture of integers and floats, that column or series will automatically be converted to float. Then when we have a mixture of strings and numbers, it'll be converted to an object. When we have missing, even if the original values were integers, that will be converted to float. And with money, those are strings, so it is converted to an object. To convert the first row to numeric values, we can do that quite easily. What we'll want to do is assign the column that we want to convert to a new column. In this case, we'll just replace the original column with the converted values. So we'll say df string column, and we want this as type, and we'll say int for integer. So this will convert this string column to integers. If we wanted to convert to floats, we could do that by typing float. If we wanted to convert a column to strings, we can do that by using str. Here we want to just convert to integers, so I'll we'll use int and run that, and then we can call the d types on our df string, and it's now an integer. Perfect. I'm just going to add a bunch more columns here so I can scroll down so we can see better. So if we wanted to convert a float column to integers, we could try that using the method we used above here. Let's just copy this. And we want to change our column values. So we'll be changing int float this time. And let's say we wanted to convert those to integers. And we'll also check out the data type that our column is after we use the as type int. We'll run that, and we have our column converted to integer. We may think that worked perfectly well. However, there is a bit of a gotcha. If we check out our df head, we can see that this converted to integers but rounded all the values down. So if we go back and look at what we originally had, we had 4.6 here, and now we have a value of four. This might be okay, but in most cases, I would imagine that it's not. So we need to be aware of that. If we wanted to convert to integers and round the way that we would expect, we can do so by using dot round first. So I've already assigned this column to be round down. So I'm gonna just rerun this data frame again and reset our values. Copy this here and make one little adjustment. We'll use dot round and we'll specify how many decimal values we want. So in this case, we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So we'll say zero and then let's call df.dtypes. And we see that our integers and floats are converted to integer 32. And if we look at df head, perfect. We see that that 4.6 was rounded up to five. Okay, so let's move on to a mixed column of strings and numeric values. So we may think, okay, we can just go df mix call is equal to df mix call dot as type. 
and change it to int. When we run that, we'll get an error that says value error. And it tells us that the problem is this A here that can't be converted to a number. In order to get around this problem, what we can do is use pandas helper function pd.toNumeric. So we're going to start using df1. And just as a reminder, I'll run that real quick. So before we fix our mix column problem, let's go back and review how toNumeric will work on the, these other two cases here. So just like before, we will assign our converted values to a new column. So say pd.toNumeric and then pass in the series or column that we want to convert. And we'll also look at the data type for this column. Perfect, so now our string column has been converted to a column of integers. So for our second column here that has integers and floats, it was converted to all integers. If we wanted that to be integers, we can follow similar steps to what we did above with the as type method. So let's copy this. And we're using the int float column. And if we were to just run this, it will still return a column of floats. What we might think is, oh, there's this handy dandy little downcast we can use. So let's downcast it to integer. However, this also will not return integers for us. It'll give us floats. The only way that it will work is if all of the float values have point zeros behind it. So there's no additional information. So what we can do is round our series to the nearest whole number and then downcast to integer. And before I run this, let's just copy this little bit of code here because you might be wondering, well, what happens if we just round to the nearest whole number anyways? So we still get our float values. So we'll want to downcast to an integer. And we'll want to look at the data type of this column. And there we go, we have a data type of int. So what this downcast did was say, okay, I'm going to convert it to an integer but not only that, I'm going to convert it to the lowest integer value possible. So in this case, it's int 8. Sometimes you'll see int 32 or even int 64, I believe, is default if you're not downcasting. All right, and now we're back to trying to figure out this tricky mixed column. So let's try it. We'll say df mix call is equal to pd2 numeric df1 mix call. So fingers crossed, let's run this. And we get the error again. What we can do with pd2 numeric is say errors equals coerce. So what this does is if we were to get an error, it would force that row where the error occurred to be a NAN value and then it'd move on to the subsequent rows and convert those. When this happens, nan is considered to be a float. So it will convert our column to a float, even if all our other values are integers. And I called df there, so we want to look at df1, and we have float. And of course, the theme of the day is how do we change our float columns into integers? just in case you wanted to, perhaps you had an ID that you don't want to be a float value, you want it to be an integer. We can do that by tacking on as type int 64. So what this does is goes through our column, converts it to floats. If there are any strings in there, it will say, I'm gonna force you to be a NAN value missing. And then we go through and change it to pandas int 64. So this is different than numpy's int 64. It has a capital. What this does is change numpy's nan to pandas na, and this allows it to be an integer. So let's just look at the df.head and see what that looks like. So we have this na value rather than the nan values here. 
An alternative to this method here is we could fill NA with a value, let's say zero, and then we can convert those to integers. However, I don't like to replace my missing values with zero. I like to keep it missing and then deal with it after. In the future, I will be creating a video on missing values and how to deal with those appropriately. Once I create it, I'll add a link to the description below so you can check that out. So I just like to leave it the way we had before. And now we should be fully equipped to deal with this missing column here on our own. So let's move on to this money column now. The problem is if we use the method above, we're going to get all NAN or NA values because these are all strings and can't be converted to numbers because of the dollar sign and comma in each of these values. So first what we'll have to do is replace all of our symbols in the money column. And I'm actually going to create a new column because I will show you an alternative method of replacing these symbols. So I'm gonna say this is the money replace because we're going to use the replace method and set that equal to money.str.replace. And we'll say we want to replace the dollar sign. And then what we want to replace it with is nothing. So we'll leave that empty set of quotations there. And then we can chain these replace methods, str replace our comma with nothing. And we will look at this column here. We see that our dollar signs have been removed and our commas have been removed. What we can do then is set our new column to pd to numeric and pass in our column. We'll look at that. And now our column is afloat with our values here. If you're familiar with regular expressions, we can also replace those characters with a regular expression. So we'll copy this here. We're gonna call this reg x for regular expression. We're gonna use our money column. We will still use string.replace, but we'll delete all of this here. And then in brackets, surrounded by quotations, we'll put a backslash dollar backslash comma and so this says we want to replace the dollar sign and the comma with an empty string and say reg x is equal to true if you're not familiar with regular expressions i'm in the process of creating a youtube video on regular expressions and how to use them and i'll leave a link to that video down below so after that we can call our pd to numeric and pass in our column here. We also want to assign it and then we'll check out that column. So we see it's a float. It has the dollar sign and commas removed just like we wanted. If you're hoping to convert a column to date time, I made a separate video on that. I will leave a link to it in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And thanks for watching.